Hey there, viewers. Della here. And welcome back to Ragnarok. I am... Apparently what I'm doing is hitting my microphone stand with my arm. Uh, I am playing some Mara because I need to relax. I need to chill a little bit. I've been... I've been really busy lately, and that's that explains my lack of video output. I know that usually I put out two to three videos a week, but I've just been overwhelmed with homework and school and all that crazy shit, but uh, I need to put out a video. I was just inside that guy. Gross. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue working on my rogue now, uh, but I don't know where to level. What can I do by myself? Also, do I have any skill points? I have one skill point. I'm going to put it into rate. Like a boss. And do I have any status points? Yes, I have 18. And I want... More Agi. Alright. So, what was I going to do? Where am I going to go? Let's try... Let's just see if I can do Rachel saying. There's that small possibility. Come here, bitch. For a second, I was like, wow, I already killed him? I'm a boss. And then I realized, no, I just used Snatcher. Derp. So as I said, I've been, I've been busy as hell lately with school three days a week, work three days a week, and then one day to myself. And that one day is spent with my friends, my best friends, because I don't get to see them that much. Okay, I'm about to get fucking owned. Um, okay, I thought I was going to have to go into hiding. Where's Raid? Do I even have Raid up here? That's right, Raid wasn't high enough level. I usually don't put high level or low level uh, skills up until I'm fully ready to do them. I really hope this guy doesn't kill me. I'm going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, got a job level at least. That's that's not too bad. And the experience is, you know, decent here. Oh god. That's the rule. You have to be behind bitches when you backstab, hence backstab. So if you ever play a rogue... Sorry, I went silent all of a sudden. There, I just realized that after a second, I was like, "Wow, I was in the middle of saying something, and just all of a sudden decided, hey, I'm gonna be quiet. I want to go back to guy and heal. You know, fuck it. If I die, then I die. I'm ready to accept the consequences of coming to a place that is probably too hard for me. Uh, can I sneak by and only get this guy? Maybe what I can do is just backstab these bitches to death. Oh god. And then I'll gain a level and then I'll be able to just keep doing what I've been doing. Minus the backstab bitch out part thing. Okay, come here, Scylla. I am extremely familiar with Rachel Sanctuary. Because playing an assassin, mobbing here was like the greatest thing in the world for leveling. Well, apparently her animation is glitched because I was in fact behind her. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, more Agi please. Thank you very much. Alright, continuing on with our journey through the Rachel sanctuary -ness -ness -ness. Uh, one, please. <laughs> I'm not ready to take on mobs, especially without full raid. Which I'm gonna... Uh, I forget what my build was exactly. I'll have to look back at that video and figure out. For now, I'm gonna keep putting up raid because I'm pretty sure that I need that to a decent level. And hopefully these guys don't take my flea down enough to hurt me. Awesome. Alright, but as I was saying, I've been a busy beaver. Not like a vagina, but a busy person. I've been just doing a lot of crap and 
<laughs> I really miss YouTube. I really miss making videos because commentating has always been such a creative outlet and such a relaxation thing for me. And so it's it's really hard on my mind when I don't have the time to take and really just do this and just sit back and, you know, enjoy what I'm doing. And max level on rate is five, right? Yes. Okay. So as soon as I get to five, I'm going to stick it up in my hotkeys. So mostly all that I've been doing that would require any sort of thinking is homework because in all honesty, the college classes that I'm taking are complete bullshit. Like I'm taking two online classes that are electives and they're stupid as fuck. They're, it's seriously no learning. It's just homework. All you do is just do the homework by reading the book, like whatever you need. So it's completely mundane and stupid and I hate it. And then my networking class, oh dear God. Um, my networking class is okay in terms of I do hands-on stuff in there, so that's nice because I don't feel like I'm accomplishing absolutely nothing in that class. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's still just a crappy college class. And when I'm outside of it, the homework is just really dumb. I don't want to die. 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 Oh wow, I can't believe he dodged me. What's my dex? Uh, not quite good enough. I'm probably gonna die, but you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I just can't wait until this quarter is over. I will be so happy when I'm done with this quarter and I have the summer off and I can just relax because I need it. God knows I need it. Ah. Uh. So I went through a phase during my sort of inactivity where I got this sudden surge of subscribers. And if you're one of them watching right now, I thank you very much. Um, it, I just went through this phase where like in one day I gained like four or five subscribers and I was so... So stoked that I gained these subscribers and I gained like, I think seven or eight over a course of a couple of days and it, it was freaking awesome. So if you, if you guys subbed and you're watching this video, thanks a ton and leave a comment telling me that you subbed or whatever and I'll, I'll shoot you one back thanking you personally if that's your thing, if you get off on being commented back. I, I don't know why you would be, but then again, I don't understand a lot of things on YouTube. Like people begging for top comment. When did that start? Does, does that give people big e peens or... I don't know. Am I missing something? But yeah, like I said, thank you very much if you subscribe to me. And I feel like I know where this... Where the surge came from, but I don't want to... I don't want to think that that's why people subscribe to me. But basically, there was a video out about Hutch leaving Machinima and... The guy was discussing how how YouTube has went downhill, and I completely understand where he's coming from. YouTube has sort of went downhill quickly, and in his discussion of it, I I commented stating how I'm really proud of my YouTube channel. I, I put out what I consider to be extremely high quality videos, and I put a lot of work into my videos, and I do it because it's fun, it's creative. I I enjoy doing it, not because I want to be rich and famous. I mean, of course, yeah, it'd be awesome to make money doing this because it's something that you love. And I mean, that that's the American dream is to get paid to do something you love. But I don't even think that's an American dream. I just think that's a dream in general for everybody is God. I don't think that's a dream for everybody is to get owned by a Van Berg <laughs> every couple minutes. <laughs> but no, I mean, you guys know what I mean. If, if you could get paid to do something you love, then you'd obviously take that opportunity. But the thing is, if I were, were to ever get paid to do this, then nothing would change for me. I mean, I would... The, the reason that I do this is because I love video games, and I love editing videos, I love being creative, and just everything, you know. That's me. So... As I was saying, I commented on this video stating how I took pride in my work, and I mean, 
as sad as it is, and most people probably think I'm ridiculous for this, but I'm, I have 50, I had 50 subscribers on YouTube at the time. And I was, I, I mean, I was so proud when I hit 50 subs because it's, it's 50 people who thought that my work was good enough that they wanted to subscribe to me, that they wanted to be updated every time I uploaded a video. And I mean, that's fucking awesome. I love knowing that people like my stuff to that extent. So I posted saying how I was proud of that and how, how I felt about YouTube and that sort of thing and how I didn't care about subscribers. And all, all of a sudden it's like, I, shortly thereafter a bunch of people subscribed to me and that's that's what i was fearing is i was fearing that people read that and pitied me or thought oh he only has 50 subscribers and he's really proud of that wow what a sucker and instantly they were like well i'm just gonna go ahead and sub to him to try and be nice and i was like i i don't i don't like pity i don't want people to pity me because i have 50 subscribers because if it's something that i think is awesome and people pity me for it then i'm like I, that bums me out <laughs> i because i'm i'm proud of my 50 subs i i think that that's pretty sweet actually and you know if people think that that's bad that i'm proud of that then you know that sort of hurts my feelers but i'm hoping that the people who did subscribe to me maybe saw my channel through that came and watched it and realized that I, I did in fact have really high quality videos and decided, hey, I want to subscribe to this guy because I want to see more of his videos. I, th I think that he does a good job and I would like to enjoy more of his redonkulous content of video games that people never play, such as Ragnarok Online and Spyro, You're the Dragon, <laughs> which the Spyro playthrough is, you know, getting a slow start, I'll admit but it's it's such a fun game it's it's a game that has such good memories for me that i can't i can't stop playing it and i understand that it's probably not appealing to a lot of people but i don't care if i enjoy it then i want to do it <laughs> and that goes hand in hand with the whole idea of you know me how do i use raid whoa that was awesome uh that, that goes hand in hand with the whole idea. Uh, I'm I'm not doing this for subscribers. I'm not doing this for EP. God damn it, I didn't get out in time. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. And while I do have a certain standard of quality that I want to put out, that's slightly because... There's two ends of the spectrum for me. <laughs> Sorry, I, my mind is really scatterbrained right now. Part of it is like, hey... If I don't do well on this, then I don't like it. And if I don't like it, then I'm not satisfying myself, which I'm doing this for self-satisfaction because I I enjoy it. And it's something fun for me. But the sub-product of that is that you guys are watching it, that you guys are enjoying it. And that's awesome that someone else is getting enjoyment out of me doing something on here and just that there can be a double there. And since you guys are enjoying it, I feel like I also have a duty to uphold for you. So that's why there's like a double type thing going on here is because part of my part of my quality horniness and death is because I care about you guys as much as I care about me. Uh, I want to do good things for both of us. And like I said, I, I hope that that's why any of you new subscribers sub to me is because you you like my videos. You you watched a couple of them and you're like, hey, he he does good work. And not to toot my own horn, I <laughs> I I was really really proud of the Minecraft Stronghold video, the series that me and Invictus did. I that series was a whole lot of work and if you guys haven't watched it like if you're new to my channel and just like watch the first couple of videos if if you've seen that or if you haven't seen that i mean then please give it a shot just uh watch episode one or pick any episode and watch it or okay he just raped my butthole <laughs> that was terrible 
Okay, sorry I'm dying so much. I, I'm just trying to level whore in this place because it's really good experience. <laughs> but yeah, go check out my Minecraft. It's just called Del Invictus Minecraft The Stronghold. And just watch it. Or watch the uh, teaser. It's called uh, Burp. Watch it. Just take my word for it. Okay? It's really sweet. And uh, I'm not only saying that because it's it's something I did and I'm like... Oh yeah, I'm fucking awesome. I, I'm just saying it because me and Invictus enjoyed that a whole lot, and when I whenever I watch it, I get all like sad and nostalgia. It, I I don't know why I said nostalgia. I meant nostalgic because it, I haven't been able to play a lot of video games recently. And neither has Invictus, so we've sort of been missing one another. But yeah, now that's that's life, I guess. All right, so we're up to level 75 now. Hmm. I'm hitting pretty well now, so I'm going to boost a little bit more strength. And I'm going to move down here. I I was just about to say I'm going to run into a hod here soon. And sure enough, here comes a fucking hod Rimlin. Those things will rape your titties so hard that you will probably get breast cancer. And I'm not kidding either. Especially at my level and my terrible flea rate right now. Yeah, my flea's not what it should be. <laughs> and yeah, don't fuck with him. And I'm sure you guys are thinking, well, just just hide and then backstab it. Just keep doing that. You'll be able to rape him. No. God damn you, Vanberg. <laughs> you can't just hide and do that with hods because they're special and they can see you when you're hidden. They have something called sensor. I think it's sensor or detect maybe sensor is when they can sense when you're casting on them, which I think they have that too, which is stupid because they're aggro. So what the fuck does it matter? And they can see. So, uh, I kind of want to go somewhere else to try and get this last little bit of this level. Um, let me see if I can find somewhere really quick. And if I can, then I'll just shoot back into there for a while. Uh, I'm going to run to Orc Dungeon and see if we can hit up some high orcs. Go away. Nobody loves you. High orcs is yet another really beefy leveling place for assassins because if you th they're fire property, so you can mob them like crazy as opposed to with uh, with Van Burks and Asillas and Rachel Sanctuary because Van Burks and Asillas are neutral property, so there's not much you can do against them with anything unless you have something that increases damage on neutral which is not super common. Come here, bitch. Oh, God, no! No, Matt, where are you? Matt! <laughs> oh, God. That was almost terrible. Um, I don't know what to do. That was an MVP, by the way. I think that's the first one that you guys have seen in this series. His name is Orc Hero. And he is a nasty little bastard who will do terrible things to you if you turn. Okay, that was, that was about to turn kinky. Um, not if you turn around. He'll just do really nasty things to you in any sense, in any manner that he possibly can. All right, I think he's off the screen far enough. There, got away. <laughs> he's an MVP. He's got like 500,000 HP, I think and he's not very easy. The reason I started screaming, Matt, where are you, is because my good buddy Matt, who plays Aura with me, he and I enjoy gangbanging Orc Hero whenever we can, so. But let's see, we're coming around on about 20 minutes right now. So, yeah, I'll wrap this up as soon as I level. Hopefully I level soon. I'm not going to, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Because while I came back in here, I came back in here with decrease agi. That was such a bad idea. You know what? In all honesty, Rachel Sank is so much closer. It's more experience. And yeah. So as I was saying about the, uh, about going to orc or high orcs. High Orcs is really useful when you're an assassin or when you can get a water enchant because High Orcs are fire property. So like Van Burks and Asillas, you can mob them up like crazy. And then where's that odd? 
And then after you mob them up like crazy, you can just annihilate them because, well, you have the opposite property of them, so it works perfectly. Oh man, I love a plain assassin, but you know, you can only make so many before you realize there's nothing new that you can really do. <laughs> so that's why I'm playing Rogue, since it's sort of the other end of the spectrum. Well, not really. I mean, Rogues and Assassins are very similar, but since they're the opposite end of the Thief tree, I and I hardly ever play Rogue, I thought it would be a good thing to do. Not to mention, it's enjoyable. It's entertaining to watch. I, I think the only class that may have been more entertaining to watch in terms of not only would it be pretty and make awesome effects on the screen, but it would actually be enjoyable and possibly intense would be either a sage or a magician because magic-based characters are much more entertaining to watch, I think, you know, but at the same time, yeah they're they're much more party based it's, it's hard to run a mage on your own and have a lot of fun or do anything interesting you're always better off running in a party because you'll have poma Bragi, which is a bard song that increases your cast speed and you'll have people who can tank that way the monster's not coming to rape you because when something hits you in your casting it interrupts your cast so I'm trying to throw in some tips here at the end because I, I realized when I started the series I had a lot of intent to keep it based on giving tips about the game and talking about it and this episode started to sort of stray away from that idea and rather than talking about tips and trying to help you guys I realized I'm just telling you how sad my life is <laughs> so <laughs> instead we'll talk about this and as you can see here uh you guys may have noticed that where I'm using this uh, this cap, the I showed you guys the Van Burke card. I'm pretty sure um, Van Burke card gives a rent a 0.5% chance of gaining a critical rate plus 100 for five seconds, and you'll see a little pew pew thing like come off of my body whenever I get that bonus. The thing is, crits don't work when you're getting double attack. You see the yellow numbers appearing above my head here. I'll attack this just so you can see them. Those, the 740 and the 700. It, it's two quick attacks. And basically what that is is the double attack. The thing is, when you double attack, you can't crit. So this hat is sort of useless in a sense for me, but it's also good because all my single attacks if I crit then that's a positive thing because crits are always good as you can see my crits only one because I know that there's not a need for it so long as I'm using double attack and that's double attack is huge for rogues you absolutely you pretty much need double attack unless you're playing bow rogue which you guys know that I'm not a fan of that as it is all right, so I'm pretty much set. I think I want a little bit more decks, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to 55 or 60 with my decks, and I'm gonna start walking back because I hit 76, and I think that's a good place to stop. Also, Matt, if you're watching this, um, <laughs> it turns out that my unfrozen was on this character. I got on and was like, wow what gear do I have or what am I lacking? And I, I saw it and I was like, what the fuck? My unfrozen is on here. So I found my unfrozen. I'm guessing Josh does my battery and instead viewers, I'm using my strength plus two mantle of wildcat, which gives me plus 25 attack and it takes away a little bit of defense, but you know, I can deal with that for the sake of the thing, the good thing about defense is if you have high agi, you don't need tons of defense because you aren't going to be getting hit anyway. So typically what you're better off having is magic defense if you have high agi, but in all honesty, just boosting the crap out of agi is always your better bet. And then you don't have to worry about even dying. So I'm going to shoot back to Gaia here so that we can log out and I shall be the farewell here. And yeah, so I hope that you, <laughs> they said crash. Yes. Welcome to Luminaro. It crashes every time you come to the main town. Even though you guys just watched me come to the main town and it didn't crash. Derp. Alright, so rather than rambling for a little while, I'm going to go and heat up some mashed potato pizza and try and find something to watch on TV. 
So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.